personal, more organic, more more at a base level. It's great. Mm, at least attention. Yeah. You know, got it out. Got to hear. Got to see like-minded people. Got yeah. to feel the connection. And looking forward to the next one. I, I liked how there were a lot of different uh, topics talked about, not necessarily just uh, resource-based economy. Um, not necessarily the resource-based economy, because that seems to be the um, understood, like that's the direction we need to go in, but there's a lot of uh, other things talked about that I definitely thought needed to be said, felt very interesting, specifically Neil's uh, presentation. It was great giving the presentation. Um, it was good listening to people, like they were still talking about it well after it was over. It's kind of my reward to be able to know that I had an impact on people and hopefully will help them, you know, be able to think better in the future. I'm very excited to see what's going on at other events too. You know, I'm sure a lot of that will get posted on the internet. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to see my presentation from the outside, which is when you really learn how well you did. Um, I always love talking to the people here. Um, it's great, especially since lately I haven't really been in a situation where I can be around more activists. So it's good to finally be able to sit down and have some of these good conversations. Yes, actually, I, I think it's um, it turned out to be a really fantastic day. Uh, it opens the door for not only people that are already familiar with Sundays, but also others in the community that want to check it out or know a little more about it. And I think what we find is that when we run a day, I mean, the hopes is that we get to meet new faces, like-minded people, just to really have dialogue about you know, social problems, sort of sharing about where we're coming from um, in terms of maybe how to fix it or ideas to maybe bridge the gap. It's really fascinating. I, I enjoy meeting all the people. I think that's the highlight for me. Um, I'm a social worker and I love people, so meeting people and talking with them, just hearing their stories and struggles sometimes is really cool, and how, how they got here. Um, I think that uh, basically what I've been able to gain from this is the realization that the movement has a face. It, it's in Detroit, it's wherever it is, but I can now bounce off people rather than watch documentaries online. That's, that's a good learning thing, but I think seeing it in people's thoughts and in their eyes and how excited they are kind of got me excited. Right. And the other thing I think is that basically I, uh, I started to see on professional levels for different people's different jobs that they have now, I will be able to then relate how social work would be part of a Zeitgeist movement. Oh, you're a social worker. Yeah. And that was important to me only because I'm trying to conceptualize what is that going to be someday. What are the social problems going to be that are going to occur in that kind of an environment? And it was kind of refreshing to think that things are going to change. I think Z Day went fantastic this year. It was had less of a turnout than the previous years that I've been to it anyway. I think that basically made it a lot more personal. It made it a smaller, kind of kind of a bit more closed event, but ultimately I think people more connected like communal. more. Yeah, there was, there was definitely more of a community attribute just because there was less people. I feel like people connected more um, through the round table discussion at the end, um, the question and answer sessions, uh, and when the presentations came around it seemed like everyone was kind of mentally digesting things all at the same rate. And Rob's um, time that he gave for responses, I think, was great. I think it, you know, I, I think it really allowed things to come together in a, in a kind of a community sense. That was a pretty good Q and A. Yeah, I think it was a fantastic Q and A. Very, very personal. Very, um, very intimate. And always informative. Always informative. For the last close to 20 years, I've studied communication, uh, systems theory, things like that. And through that time, uh, studying Norbert Wiener, uh, Ashby, Claude Shannon von Neumann, people like that. Great minds of the 40s and 50s, along with uh, B.F. Skinner, uh, he's a good influence of mine, and many uh, many philosophers, Wittgenstein, Karl Popper, you know, I can, the list goes on and on and on and on. I've attempted to build a clear way to view the world, a Weltanschauung, if you would. A clear way to see how things really work, and I feel I get closer and closer and closer all the time. But it's only on communicating that that I get a response as to whether I'm right or not. So presentations like this are a way for me to kind of throw my model of the way things work out at other people, see if it jives. If it does, comes back to me as a positive thing, 
it's a good indication that things are heading in the right direction, but we always got to look out for that positive feedback loop, you know, that runaway effect, um, which we see in closed groups like this. So I'd love to be able to communicate these kinds of ideas in this kind of format and way to different parties who have different views. So I tried to, and I tried with the presentation, I tried to build a ladder from the foundational, you know, the way uh, quantum mechanics works and the way systems theory all interrelates with that, how that you know, goes through the layers of expression and emergence up to the point where we're at right now. But it's a, it's, it's a way to achieve clarity. And it's a way to kind of get rid of the fuzzy concepts that we have via our language. You know, Wittgenstein said that uh, the limits of uh, my language are the limits of my world. Um, he's kind of right and kind of wrong. The problem is things are so fuzzy. They're not really codified. They're not really uh, explicated properly. We gotta break through that. We have the meta communication over the top of it. This is who I am. Who are you? And if we can do that and stop hiding within the roles and the play that we play on a day to day basis and see ourselves as we truly are and other people as they are, maybe at that point we can start some real communication. If I were to summon the Z Day, I would say that it was personal. Very personal. How do I feel about it? I feel like. Everybody else got the same response. Everybody that I talked to that had a first time at Z Day this time said that same thing. That it felt personal, that it felt like you could ask a question, and that you were comfortable with receiving the answer. You didn't fear that the answer might have been too complex for you, or that your question might have been too stupid. And on top of that, it also did a very good job of relating at a base level uh, everyday interactions between people instead of being so technical on the economical aspect of the like, you know, we're not I think it went well. Um, I know that we could have done a lot more to prepare and, and uh, could have done a lot more PR to, to make it a larger event, but with uh, the turnout we had, I think it all went really well. When we have these events that spur all this great conversation, uh, it's really it's heartwarming and I can't wait to put a lot more work into the next one. Last year was a little more open up, but uh, yeah, the Phoenix always provides a nice sentiment. Here. Phoenix Cafe. All right. Really improved. <laughs> and next year, uh, you know, it'd be a good problem to have if we had too many people for this place. So I think we'll do it again here next year, Phoenix allowing, and uh, put twice the work and effort into it, and uh, and with your help. Corey. Awesome. Yeah, I'll be here. It'll be a blast. Right. Sounds good. The more that I'm involved with this, the uh, the more I realize it's worth. You know. And, right. And how. I get frustrated a lot, I step away every now and then, but you know, the more I step away, the more I see the other options out there of you know, following the American dream. The more it drags me back here to try to help improve the world for, their, you know, for our children, for the future of our world. Right, right. Yeah, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. All right, well, thank you, Sean. It was awesome today. Thank, thank you for you. everything. Absolutely.